Hello, everybody. I'm Jackie K. Cooper. And in the recent weeks, I've, or a few days since the trailer came out on the movie Joker, which is coming out in October of this year, I've heard from my gang, and y'all have been saying, you know, give us some information about the trailer. Give us your take on what, you know, information is put into the trailer. So I've been studying it. I've watched it over and over and, you know, tried to glean some information out of it. But I don't have a huge background in the comics like some of you have. So you're going to be able to send me comments and say, oh, yes, that meant this or whatever. My main emphasis on, is on the fact that Joaquin Phoenix is playing Joker or Arthur Fleck, as his real name is in the story. And Joaquin Phoenix is an actor who's been around for quite some time. He's made some really big mainstream movies. He made uh, Gladiator with Russell Crowe. That was a biggie. He played the emperor in that film. And then you might remember him in the movie Walk the Line with Reese Witherspoon. They played Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash, and he got an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor for that performance. But he's also made a lot of small independent movies or low-budget movies or, you know, off the mainstream movies that I have suffered through and wondered why he ever did them. But he's part of an acting family. He is the brother to the late actor River Phoenix, who died tragically many years ago. I think he has a sister, Summer, who did some bit minor roles in some movies. But Joaquin was always kind of in the shadow of River when he was alive. But since River's death, he has emerged, and he is an acting talent. And we know that he is going to bring a deep, brooding, a psychologically disturbing portrayal of the Joker to this movie. In the film, I, again, I tried to do some background after seeing this trailer, and I realized that it shows him that he lives with his mother, uh, his mother Penny, and she's played by Frances Conroy. Frances Conroy was well known for a, a TV miniseries called Six Feet Under. She also was part of at least two seasons, I think, of American Horror Story. So, you know, you might be familiar with her. But she plays Arthur's mother. He lives with her, as well as I can tell from the uh, trailer. He is trying to earn a living. He takes, you know, jobs where he does advertisements for different businesses. And he wants to be a stand-up comic. Now, Arthur, again, what I'm gleaning from... Uh, these few scenes that are shown in the trailer, has some psychological problems. And he seems to run into adversity everywhere he goes. Uh, he gets beaten up by a gang of bullies when he's trying to do advertising, you know, outside advertising for business. Uh, he, he just doesn't be, seem to be able to catch a break. But he, like I said, he, from what I can hear, he wants to be a stand-up comic and kind of gets into putting on the Joker mask. It kind of evolves in, in different facets, uh, you know, into the Joker face that, that we all, you know, realize and, and recognize. There's also a scene uh, in the trailer, I know y'all have seen this, where he's standing at a fence or a gate, and there's a young boy uh, on the other side, and, you know, Arthur Fleck reaches through and pushes up the kid's cheeks to kind of into a Joker grimace. Now, the word is, is that this is Bruce Wayne. You know, soon, to, you know, not soon, but who will eventually grow up to be Batman. And so, you know, let me know what you think. It, it certainly implies that for some reason, and things that I have read have said that. But you remember when Heath Ledger did the Joker, he gave a very tortured portrayal of, of the Joker. Also, he won an Oscar for his performance. I think this is going to be even more intense and more moody and psychological because it's going to show that evolution from a, from a, a young man who just doesn't fit into society in the normal uh, societal modes and has everything go against him. And then eventually the psychological problems turn him into the psychopath that the Joker becomes. Now, that's my take on it. That's what I get from seeing it. Again, I'm expecting a, 
great performance by Joaquin Phoenix. I think Francis Conroy will be amazing as his mother. And then Robert De Niro is in the movie. I mean, if you want to give you know, a, a really you know, classy touch to the film, uh, then you get Robert De Niro in it. It's being directed by Todd Phillips, though. Todd Phillips directed the Hangover movies. I can't quite see him getting the depth of this that it should have, but he might surprise me. Maybe this is just a, you know, a change into a new direction. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you've analyzed. I love hearing from y'all when y'all tell me, you know, what, what something means to you a certain way. And that's what I want you to do. That's why I've been talking to you about a trailer for our movie, because we're going to be hearing a lot in the next few months as it leads up to it. So we've got to get excited about it early on. But talking about the Joker trailer, this has been Jackie K. Cooper.